quickly start recording a podcast with remote guests online without having to worry about all those technical bits and pieces. Hey, I'm Greeny, this is Greenbox, and this is exactly where Restream comes in with the Restream Live Studio, which is a web-based studio which allows you to record podcasts, videos, or even create live streams. Once you're logged into your Restream account of the standard tier or higher, you will be greeted by this dashboard. Since we want to record a podcast, we are clicking on the record only tile. This will bring you to the Restream Live Studio. In the Restream Live Studio, you can simply click on the invite guest button, then copy the invite guest link and simply send it to your guests. Once your guest clicked on the link, your guest can simply choose a username, set a profile pic and join your recording session. Once your guest joined your recording session, he will appear in the left source panel. And once he's there, you can simply enable him and bring him on stage by clicking this button over here. So we are now talking about recording a podcast where audio is key. So we want to have the best audio quality possible. Go to the settings and in the settings, go to advanced settings and make sure that you enabled high resolution audio. This will allow you to record audio in the highest resolution possible. Once you set it to high resolution audio, make sure that you and your guests are correctly leveled by using those volume adjustment sliders. And once you are set to record your podcast, simply click on start recording. And once you do that, your session will start and you and your guest can talk about whatever topic it is you guys want to talk about. Once you're done recording, click on end recording and confirm that you're done. Once it's done preparing, you can simply click on download recordings. And this is why I love this solution so much. For every guest you had in your recording session and you can have up to 10 guests, you will get a separate audio file. So if anyone said something during the recording session you want to cut out or there was an issue with like leveling the audio, you can easily fix that in post-production in case you want to do that. And if you don't want to do that, you can also just download the full audio set, which is a combined audio files, which you then can upload to your podcast provider. And lastly, there is one more thing, one more option you can use about which I want to talk here real quick, which is full video. Yes, you can also download a video which is showing what you see in here. And this brings me to another thing which makes the Restream Live Studio so great. If you and your guest have a webcam, you can enable the webcam during the recording so you can upload the full video to YouTube for people who don't only want to listen to you, but they also want to see what you're talking about. And this is especially a great idea if you're promoting a product or you want to showcase something you're talking about or if you're like showing off a website you're talking about. And all of this is super easy, accessible inside the Restream Live Studio. And I really want to show you how that can be done in case you also want to have video to your podcast. Okay, so let's say me and Pinky, we want to share our webcams for a video recording. To do that, we simply have to click on the webcam icon and there I am, hello. And hi Pinky, how are you? I'm doing fine. Bye. And while we're here, I also want to show you how easy it is to uh, screen share your computer. So in case you want to showcase a project you're working on on a website, and all you need to do is you need to click on the screen share button and then simply select what you want to screen share. In my case, I want to screen share the second monitor on which I have Lightroom. And once I did this, just like my guest, it now is another source on my left side where I can click on it and bring it to the main producer. And when I do that, here it is. Here is my, my Lightroom where I'm talking about the photos I recently took and I can talk about those photos to uh, Pinky down there and we have a nice visual about what we're talking and people watching this on YouTube instead of just listening to your podcast can enjoy the visual as well. And this is my simple to use solution for recording podcasts, videos or even live streams online without the hassle for like a complicated technical setup and uh, with remote guests. So if you want to try this yourself, as I said earlier, you need a Restream account of at least the standard tier. 
The reason for that is you need the standard here to be able to record and download your recordings. If you just want to test the Restream Live Studio, you can do this using the free tier. However, thanks to Restream, who partnered with me, there is now a special promotion running in the video description down below. Using that link, you will be able to get a free seven day trial of the professional plan. And this is even more than you need to just create podcasts. All right, I am Greeny. If you have any questions about what I showed here, feel free to write a comment. And if you have other ideas on how to use the Restream Live Studio, please let me know because I'm keen to finding out new ways to use this tool because I really like it. And if you joined any of my recent live streams, you might know that I'm using the Restream Live Studio for almost over a year by myself for all my live streams. So we're now on the end card. Feel free to click this Restream playlist to learn more about Restream or click that video over there, which is a random video YouTube thinks you might like. All right, I'm Green, this is Greenbox. See you in the next video. Bye.